J.K. Rowling has been, you know, persecuted, you know, over the past couple of years due to her remarks um, about trans people and women and how, you know, biological females feel like they are being erased due to transgender women. And we see that really pick up over the, the last part of the year where there was a lot of stories and a lot of talks about this transgender swimmer who was pretty much sweeping the NCAA. A lot of teammates saying they wanted to boycott. There was a director. I think it was like, not a director. Somebody with the Olympic community, they stepped down in protest. Like there was a lot of things going on with that situation, right? And to be honest, like I said, that's one of the issues where I'm not going to mince words. Like That's not fair. Because if you're swimming as a, a male, as a guy, in college, you made it to college to swim as a guy. So you know you're going to be better than the girls. And then you transition to becoming a woman. You probably st- It's not like Joe Schwann. It's not like me saying, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to go swim at UPenn. I'm going I'm to tra- I'm gonna be trans. I'm gonna be a trans woman now. I'm probably still going to be shit in the pool. But you made it there as a guy to swim in the pool. And now you're trans. You don't think you're going to still dominate in the pool? That's it. But anyways, so now she's being tasked with being anti-Semitic. I've seen a – John Stewart isn't the originator of this theory. I've seen another guy with this theory a couple of uh, – I don't know if it was a year back or something like that, right? Because I am obviously uh, a big Harry Potter fan, right? I don't have the, the paraphernalia, but I had the ornament up the other day. My son yanked it down, but maybe he ain't fuck with J.K. Rowling either. But I fuck with it. So anyways – this is a story. John Stewart breaks Hollywood's silence on anti-Semitism in Harry Potter. So, uh, John Stewart recently pointed out how J.K. Rowling based the Banker Goblin characters who run the fictional Green Guy's Wizarding Bank in the Harry Potter franchise on anti-Semitic characteristics of Jews from the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, an anti-Semitic piece of literature. So, here's how you know Jews are still where they are, Stewart said during his podcast for his late night TV show, The Problem with John Stewart. Stewart references a conversation he had with people about Rowling's Harry Potter films where he explains that while the Goblin's resemblance to anti-Semitic creatures is obvious, people can't seem to see it or rarely come to this realization. Now, me being a Harry Potter fan, I probably watched every movie at least five, six times. I watched these YouTube channels with Harry Potter theory, um, Harry Potter folklore, all these things that just give me more information about the Harry Potter world. I watch all this shit. So I'm deeply invested in the Harry Potter world, and I've never even thunk that as a situation with the goblins. Because to me, they look like how you would think a regular goblin would look like if it was just a human. I looked it up. I didn't get to pull up the picture, but if you look at the if you look type in goblin creature on anything, right? You the first picture I saw pop up was the goblin that's on what's that game where you like. You get to build up your castle. You build up your city. People can try to attack you. It's like a, it was a real popular game, like battle, some shit. I don't know what the fuck it's called, right? Where you get trolls and this and that. But like, I guess, anyways, that's what they look like. They got the hook nose. That's how goblins look, right? That's what goblins are. But she made the goblins in human form. But now I can understand if you see a picture like this, and this is supposed to be a picture from the book, and obviously to the right is the goblin that in Harry Potter. They do have striking resemblances but like i said i feel like there's more people turning what goblin the creatures the fantasy creatures look like into humans i i could be wrong right but i don't think i'm wrong <laughs> i honestly don't i don't think jk rowling was like oh yeah i'm about to put this goblin here it's some anti-semitic shots in the book i don't really fuck with jews like that i'm gonna do this blah 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 pop I don't think it's like Disney when Disney was doing shit like with the parrot, not the parrots, the crows, the Jim Crows that was on Dumbo and all this shit like that. I don't think it was like that, right? I don't think that's her purpose. I don't think that's what she's doing. Because if you look at the Harry Potter, like the theme, the backbone of Harry Potter, it's very similar to, you know, Hitler. She said she designed Voldemort after Hitler. And if she makes Hitler the the evil guy in the, the series, I doubt that she's also going to make a uh, non-flattering light on Jewish people. With making them look like these evil, nasty goblins. Now, obviously in today's society, we can pick and choose little things, little nuances, little, you know, happenstance. Oh, yeah, well, that does look like that, so that could be that. We're going to just piece, 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 piece together to create whatever painting that we want to make for ourselves. I think that's what's being done here right now. And people say, well, of course you're biased. You fuck with Harry Potter, uh, J.K. Rowling did this, you that. But, like, I have no reason to, uh, I have no fight in the Jewish fight, right? I have no thing for it, right? And even with that shit, like the Jim Crow shit, I didn't even know, like, when I was a kid, I didn't know. I didn't know that until recently, until people started really trying to boycott these old Disney films. I didn't know. So anyways, 
they go on, they say, and they're like, oh, look at that. That's from Harry Potter. And you're like, no, that's a character of a Jew from an anti-Semitic piece of literature. J.K. Rowling was like, can we get these guys to run our bank? And everybody was just like, wizards? Uh, it was so weird. So he's seeing like, he's in the, he's watching the movie theater and people are like, oh, look, it's just, you know, wizards and these goblins and this and that. And they're just so overlooking that these are Jewish people running these banks. Now, obviously, you can trope it up. You can be like, you know, okay, here's a coincidence. People claim that Jewish people run the banks. People claim that Jewish people run the world. They say that's an anti-Semitic trope. So you know what? These guys are going to run the banks. They're goblins. Most goblins look like that. But we want them to not be creatures. We want them to be human form. So what can make them look human? We're going to give them some hair. Obviously, we're going to give them the uh, voice. You know, they're not going to just be goblin-y creatures. So then that's where you get the goblin that looks like that. I am not of the belief that... Uh, yeah, I don't know. We try to get Jake Harrell on the fuck out of here at this point. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I watched the Harry Potter twenty year thing. They had to specifically put it at the very top, filmed in twenty nineteen. So they ain't even put her in the shit that she created due to fear of backlash and shit like that. It's like, bro, she fucking created shit. How she not in a twenty year thing? I get it. She may say some things that not flattering, but that's her views. That's how she feels. If she feels like this and this and that about transgender, whatever, 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 that's her. But like I said, she created the shit. Y'all still profiting off the shit. Y'all still getting the bag off the shit. Y'all motherfuckers ain't stopping no Fantastic Beasts from me in film, right? Fantastic Beasts got three, two, they got five, three more films to create. Well, one's coming out and two more after that. Y'all ain't got no problem making that profit. Oh, Fantastic, Fantastic, Fantastic Beasts make how much money? Yeah, but Jake, she said, what? Nah, fuck that shit. It's like $300 million off this shit. Fuck all that. But, you know, that's how it goes. So anyways, it was one of those things where I saw it on the screen. I was expecting the crowd to be like, holy shit, she did not uh, she did not in the wizarding world just throw Jews in there to run the fucking underground banks. No, because nobody's thinking about that. Because nobody thinks, I don't, people, most people don't think like, they don't think their life like that in those eyes of race and this and that. Like, yeah, there's racist shit. There's people that do fucked up shit, da 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 But most people don't look, they're just watching the fucking movie. That's one thing I've hated about the recent society of politi po politi politicizing everything is that, Every time I see a movie, and I'm like, damn, that was a good movie. I enjoyed it. I got to go on YouTube and see a, 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 a commentary. Like, this was the biggest liberal propaganda in the world. Or this is the biggest conservative. They're like, watch the fucking movie. I promise you, people enjoy life more. They just cut the bullshit with all that, making everything political. So during the podcast, staff writer Henrik Blix recalled that even as an 11-year-old Harry Potter fan, he knew the goblin thing was messed up. Shut the fuck up, Henry. 11-year-old. Oh, my God, Mommy, is that a goblin from a Jew from an old book called the, what was the book called? The Last, what's it called? The Protocols of the Elders of Zion? Oh, my God, it's so messed up, Mom. Dog, shut the hell up. They didn't be saying shit. This is a, yeah, I knew that, too, when I was 11, John. I knew it. No, you didn't. Shut up. So then also they brought up that Pete Davidson – Said it in uh, 2020 on SNL. He was like, uh, Wizards and Ghosts, but the bank is controlled by obviously little giant, no Jew goblins. So, who's really y'all the ones pointing this shit out and, and saying it? Because if she's not making it that way and y'all are making it that way, who's really to blame here? You, who, who's really feeding into the tropes? You or her? That's how I look at it. But we always find a way to just, you know, make everything about whatever the fuck. There's gotta be something about racism, gotta be somebody about injustice, something about inequality. And a lot of people find it a place where they can easily piece together a narrative because most people just need to be led a certain way. I just need to give you like three slices of cheese and you'll feel like you ate a whole block. And you'll feel like you have all the answers. You feel like you know everything. That's how it'll be. Give you three slices of cheese, you'll feel like you ate the whole goddamn thing. But also you might be missing this X, Y, and Z over here. Because there was another part of this, another article that I was reading where she was admired by the Jewish community for making Voldemort the evil Hitler. Because, like I said, my bad, that's what I was explaining. The backbone of the Harry Potter shit is he is essentially Hitler, right? He wants to exterminate all mudbloods. He despises half um, half breeds, right? People who are wizarding. And if you have a wizard parent with a non wizard parent, you're a half breed. If you are a parent who has two parents that have no magic, which are muggle parents, and you end up having magical powers, they despise you. They want to erase you. That's one of the Chambers of Secrets, the Basilis, he was trying to kill what they would call mudbloods, which would be pretty much like, you know, uh, I would assume they're trying to say like those would be like Jewish people, and Voldemort was a pure blood. Everyone in his back is all the Death Eaters, Bellatrix, uh, Malfoys, they are pure blood families. And that's all they want. They want pure blood. They want the pure blood to be able to take over the magic community. They should be at the top. We should exterminate everybody else who is not a pure blood, or at least 
Uh, they even fuck with some half bloods, but they're you're like lesser as well if you're half breed. And Voldemort wasn't even a full, he wasn't even a pure, he was a half breed. But anyways, that was it. Praise God, bro.